You're in my way! Child of the internet, it is I'm all time 126089. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. Last time, I don't want to talk about what happened last time because we had to end the video because of it. But this time, we're gonna get some sweet redemption because I decided to get my Joy Cons and we're gonna play this game the way that it was meant to be played. Well, oh! Never mind. I was thinking about doing something cheap. That's all I was gonna say. Oops. This time we got this. I only blame like the other controller because, quite honestly, oh my gosh, I pressed the jump button and it didn't count. I only blame the other the other controller because literally because it was. I was focusing on making sure it wasn't drifting my character all the way left while I'm trying to jump. I couldn't really time my jumps. Oh. Okay. We're still good. So this one I gotta jump early. Because it's not a tough to jump. Again. Woo! Alright. There we go. One way ticket to redemption. Yata. Alright, so now that we got things under control again, we are going to go over back to the, the, the beach. Beach, let's go get away. Bay, Tay, what you going to sing? Have a drink? Drink? Gotta go by. Because hard mar like, real Mario's like me are hard to come by. Uh, so yeah, let's go over to the beach, like I said. <laughs> but let's go ahead and take care of the rest of the lot of beach, because that's what I wanted to do last time, and I could not do it. And I died. I finally got my first game over on this series, and I'm sad. Oh! It wasn't supposed to happen until much later, but whatever. Gelato Beach. The stand sandboard is born. The sandbird is born. Hey, dude. Hey, guess what? The sandbird is finally hatched. Don't bother looking for it, though. It flew, right, it flew away right away. Oh, that sucks. But I have a feeling we're going to go ahead and see that in just a moment anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> My voice is definitely acting up. Oh, Alright, give me that. Time to use my attack. Get up here. This. Come up here, gonna fly down here. Cool. Gonna redirect it like completely with that. And die via your own Look at us. We're on the magnificent sandbird. Right now, we just gotta survive on the sandbird to get the eight red coins. Which is easier said than done, obviously, but you know. I'm not too afraid of this mission. Oh. I say it then, I almost get, get frightened. Um, uh, let's see. There are blue coins, but I don't really care to get them right now, so. Oh. 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 Oh, no! Oh, no! Ladies and gentlemen, I did the bad thing, which was go on the tail last. You should be trying to go on the tail first, so you don't have to worry about um, what just happened to me, which is uh, the second phase of this stage, which is what makes people really dread it. Oh! 
This sucks. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to get my second game over. I review. Mario. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting my second game over. This sucks. I hate this. I, I hate this. I hate this immensely. I'm so sad. What is happening? <laughs> my skill, my talent is being drained away from me. Oh my gosh. Man, that really reminds me of JoJo uh, Part 3. Dude, I would, I'd be dead already. Right. <sighs> that was annoying, so let's go ahead and do it again. <laughs> no, 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 skip it, skip it, skip it. Redemption, redemption. Alright, I still gotta... I don't have a ghost of a chance. <laughs> ah! Okay, I'll, I'll... I'm just mad because I know the strategy for this. And we haven't even reached really the what the apex hard part is yet. I'm just getting very unlucky. Oh, oh, I'm trying to grab it. Oh, I am dead because I used the hover nozzle. all. So I guess this episode is going to be dedicated to this one level. I really hate that it is. All right, fine then. If you don't want me to use Flood so much, I won't use it. Oh my gosh. There's a one-up that should be coming up. I really should get it. Yikes. Oh, that was almost bad. You know what? We're gonna wait to get the tail. We're gonna wait, because there's no point in me trying to do the thing until he does the thing. So this is the point where he starts turning his body, and what we gotta do, as the camera's not cooperating, is stand on his side, like this. Once he's finished this, I'll move back, and then I'll go back and get the tail. But yeah, this is the hard part, but I kept dying on the other parts that were easy. Alright. All right, we're good. All right, and now I'm gonna go back to the tail. Oh. The, my right Joy-Con is doing the missing with the camera, so I'm trying to be careful. But now that we, he's done that, we can basically leave off the left wing whenever we want, so I'm just gonna wait for another second. One more. Perfect. We're here. Oh my gosh. I'm so mad. Well, goodbye, Sandbird. Hello, Shine Sprite. I almost thought I fell off the cliff. I would have been extremely mad. Yatta! Alright, we are finishing Jawada Beach this episode. Mark my wolf. 
Also, I apologize for burping into the mic, but that was not my intention, and it snuck up on me, so it's not my fault, really. Anyways, let's get back in. Alrighty. El Pentissimo Sand Sprint. Ooh. Oh, we get to race him again? Nice. Wait, I don't think we ever raced, raced you a first time. I don't know why I said again. Oh, my friend. I am... I am Il Vantissimo, and now we shall race to the flag. Okay. I mean, whatever floats your boat, dude. I mean... I'm pretty ill. I'm pretty much a legend. Let's race to the flag, and whoever stands there triumph is the winner. By the way, my current record is 35 seconds. You think you're good enough to beat me? Let's go! Oh, oh I messed up. That's okay. Oh, plus this emo doesn't have killer straps like I do, so... Oh, never mind. When I say killer straps, I meant I'm gonna die because... I can't get up here. Oh, haha, you're, you're pretty good. You have some speed. You have grown ever so slightly in my esteem. Slightly. <laughs> well, until we meet again, goodbye. Also, I like to say that's the second human in, well, third human in Mario history to be a part of one of these video games. See, and Nintendo represents different cultures. I like, I like to. He, he's my favorite. If, to be honest, I think he's hindering himself by having that Pianta gear on, but that's maybe just me. But that also does beg the question, are Piantas all people in costumes, or are they actual beings? Hmm. <laughs> Let's not think about it too much. Red coins in the coral reef. Alright, easy. This one's simple. Going into the coral reef, we're taking the money, and we're leaving. Like I said that there's stuff in the coral reef. I, uh, I'm not going to talk to them because it's a waste of time. Also, there's a Yoshi here. That's also interesting to note. Good progress today. We're making actual progress other than the last video, so... Alright. Huh. Yippee! Let's go. Easy. 
It's time to do the last two missions. It's Shadow Mario. After him. Alright, let's get after him. You're right. Oh my gosh, stop. Do I cut, please? No, no. Okay. Stop running from me. Stop running! I'm. Oh, you should be dead. Ugh. Gonna have to get some water real quick. Don't run! Don't run! Don't run! So it is over. Yay! Alright. Now, this is the mission that everybody's been waiting for. <laughs> mm, that's fine. We're not going to worry about him. I said, this is the mission everybody's been waiting for, so we're gonna do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna disappoint you guys, so let's go ahead and do it. Final mission of the Lotto Beach, the Watermelon Festival. The Watermelon Festival. So this is the infamous mission that a lot of people hate, because either they don't like the mechanics of or they don't find the mechanics of the game very, uh, advantageous or good enough to be able to use it. Or they just get mad. So, either, either war is an acceptable answer, though. Oh! Come on, dude. Want me up again? Thank you. I didn't, I didn't want to... No. See? I don't understand. Knock me up before you go, go. Now I'm gonna get the watermelon, bro. Alright, so the watermelon we need to actually complete this mission is all the way up top here. But the dock is all the way over there. So we gotta be careful and bring that watermelon all the way to the place where we need to go. Okay, come on. It's not that hard. Once you get it over here... You gotta... You can also use your, uh... What to help you angle yourself better, because it makes you kind of straight. We just need to get it over to this section right here. Once we get it over here, all you have to do is really just jump. So follow it down. Then you gotta quickly switch to this nozzle. Spray these. Spray them. Uh, he might touch it. Yeah, that's a dead water one. Unfortunately. But that's okay. Ah! I might be a dead me in a second. Oh. Well, 
if this one would wake up, I will use that to get up there. Never mind, he's taking a he's taking five, so guess I'll have to go up there again and get it myself. Jumps, jumps, jumps. What I usually just do is just do this though. I'm 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 a very reckless player, so because I don't care. So I usually just do this. Push the water moment. Because again, the only thing that matters is that, you know, the actual watermelon doesn't get hit by the thing, so what you could just do is what I'm gonna do. Is literally just spray down these dudes. They can only get knocked down if they're in the sand, mind you, so do be careful, because if they're not in the sand, then you can't really do that much to them. This guy's in the way. One more right there. I can't see the one on right now. Alright. Down. Alright, and now we're gonna spray these two. They're stunned. Swallow. Um, move this one out of the way, because it's in the way. And then uh, we just take it across the beach. It's not that difficult. But as long as you know that you can spray these dudes and put them in the sand, you don't have to worry about them chasing it or hitting it by accident or destroying your plants. Alright. Let's keep going. We're basically there. We just need to take care of these last few ones that are going to get in the way. Alright, perfect. Now, the hard part for most people is getting it across this bridge, so... We're gonna take it extra slow and careful. I say as then I go full tilt. The good thing at least about this bridge part is that we don't have to worry too much because <coughs> it's all flat ground, so there's not gonna be anything that messes up how you push it. Now this is the part where people get tripped up because, you know, it's right there and it's like, oh, how am I supposed to get that? And it's like, you're helping out a little in your body and then you should be good for the rest of it. Look at that. See, that wasn't painful. We only lost it once, but it only took us, I think, like, an extra three minutes because of that, so it's not even that bad. Whoa, now that's some big old melons. I of the likes I've never seen. You're a man of culture, I, too, I see. Well, well, let's see what we can get out of this one, because you definitely won. Again, the watermelon mission, not that hard once you know what you can do to make it easier on yourself. But I mean, physics and mechanics are a thing, so. Also, do not step on that blade and die. But you can step on the blade once you grab it, because then it's fine. Ha! Huh, don't ask me how logic works. <laughs> Alright, and with that, I think we're going to end off, because I think we did a pretty good job. Yeah, Shadow Mario, whatever, you be you, I'm just gonna do me. Oh! Alright, but yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode of Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine, my lovely child of the internet. And next time we play Super Mario Sunshine, we're gonna go after Shadow Mario and get that box model. Because that means we have more opportunities opened up for us. Until then, I have been multi 12679 I'll get you, lovely child of the internet, next time. So, ciao, ciao, until then.